In today's tutorial, you will learn how to create scenario-based learning content using RISE 360, an online training system built by Articulate. Anyone can create courses and other training content in RISE easily. And the training created in this online software is aesthetically pleasing, interactive, and engaging. You will either need an Articulate 360 license or a free trial to create content in RISE. RISE 360 allows you to create responsive e-learning courses right in your web browser with its intuitive features. The best part, there's no real learning curve. RISE 360 allows you to create unique lessons by stacking media, text, and interactive blocks in any order you want, and then customizing them with your own content. You can either build this content from scratch or use pre-built content. RISE allows you to preview individual lessons or your entire course before you publish to see how it will look to learners on a desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. Let's say I wanted to create a short training on team mindsets. I'll begin by accessing RISE 360 online and then selecting New Course, Templates, to use an existing template with placeholder content to create my course. Notice the various categories of templates on the left side of the screen. In this case, I'll select Professional Skills and preview the Building Positive Work Relationships template. The template includes instructions on how to use it, as well as pre-built lessons. RISE courses are organized into sections and lessons. You can add learning content to the various lessons you include. Let's use this template. I'll return to the course template screen and click Select this template. I'll then select the course to begin making edits. First, I'll change the title to Team Mindset Training. Then, I will replace the template instructions with my own course instructions. Once I add instructions, the next thing I'll want to do is rename the first section. Let's change this to Team Mindsets. Note, you can choose to not use sections in your course as well. Sections simply organize your lessons. If you wish to remove a section title, select the trash icon. Next, I'll rename the first lesson to Team Mindsets. To do so, simply click on the current lesson name and type the new lesson name. Then, select Edit Content. In RISE, the content is organized into blocks. Since I am using a template, I can modify the existing blocks. I can also add new blocks or delete blocks. My first block is some text on an image. If I choose to use this block, I can add my own text and either keep or change the image. Let's add the text Team Growth Mindset. If you hover over the image, you can select Edit to change the image. To do so, select Edit again. I can either upload my own photo or choose from the content library. In this case, let's select Replace from Content Library and search for Collaboration Photos. Once I find a photo I like, I'll simply click on that photo to select it. Notice how the image updated. Let's scroll down to continue adding content and change the next title to the value of a team growth mindset. Watch as I update the text in the first two bullet points. Note, to remove the third bullet point, simply hover over the block and select Edit. Select the trash can to delete the third bullet point. As I mentioned, you can add your own block of content separate than what was included in the template. To do so, click the plus sign icon in the area in which you wish to add a new block. Notice a list of options appear to the left. 
You can add different text blocks, different statement blocks, different quote blocks, different list blocks, different image blocks, and so on. In this case, I will enter a statement block. For my next section, I want the learner to know the difference between a growth and a fixed mindset. I could use the current block provided in the template. However, let's see what other options I have. Remember to add a new block of content, click the plus sign icon. In the interactive blocks, notice the flashcard grid option. I'll select this block to add to my content. Then, I'll select edit to add information to the front and back of the flashcards. To the front of the first card, I'll add Fixed Mindset. Then to the back, I'll add its definition. To the front of the second card, I'll add Growth Mindset. Then to the back, I'll add its definition. Notice for this card, I must change the image to text. Finally, I'll delete the third card as it is not needed. I next need to add a YouTube video to my training. To do so, I'll add a new block and select Multimedia. I want to embed a video from YouTube. Once the content is in my training, I'll once again select Edit and then Change. Afterwards, I'll paste the iframe code from my YouTube video. I also want to add a title and some text before the video. So once again, I'll select the plus icon. But this time, I'll select the text block. In this case, I want the paragraph with heading. I'll title my heading, Seven Effective Ways to Upgrade Your Team Mindsets, and add a descriptor. Next, I want to add some additional information about fixed and growth mindset characteristics. I will use the current accordion block included in the template. I will first edit the title. Then, I'll add some descriptive text. Once again, I will select Edit to make my changes. From here, I will add my headings and descriptions. As this is it for the content I want to add to this lesson, I will delete the rest of the content. From here, I can select Preview to preview the lesson thus far. To return to Edit Mode, select Edit. I realized I forgot to add the participant workbook. To add this content, I will scroll to the top of the page. First, I will add the heading and text. Then, I will add an image of the workbook and instructions. Next, I need to add a content block to attach the participant workbook. I will need to select Multimedia, then Attachment. Finally, I will select Edit to attach the workbook PDF. Now let's move on to editing and creating the next lesson. Click the arrow in the upper left to return to the main screen. Just like with the first lesson, I will edit the title of the second lesson first. Then, I'll select Edit Content. In this lesson, I will play a video for the learner and then have the learner take time to answer questions in their workbook. I will start by deleting all the current blocks of content. Then I will add a heading and text. Notice how you can add some blocks of content by clicking the icons displayed on the screen. Then, 
I need to add a video block. This time, I will upload an MP4 video. After the user watches the video, I want them to click a Continue button. This is known as a divider block. Notice, if I select Edit, I can change the completion type to Complete Block directly above. This means the learner will not be able to click the Continue button until he or she has finished watching the video. Now, I want to add a list of discussion questions. To do this, I will add some text with a bulleted list block. Once again, I'll add a Continue button. Now I need to add Scenario 2. I will repeat the same steps I did for Scenario 1. Now, I will return to the main screen and delete the other lessons from the template I will not be using. I will edit the summary and contact information as my final lesson by selecting Edit Content. First, I will replace the image with the Team Mindset Lab logo and type out Team Mindset Lab over top. Then, I will delete the next block of content and update the key takeaways. I will then delete the next block and update the contact information. And that's it! That's how you create an entire course using RISE 360. This course can be published to the web or a learning management system using the export option. Thank you for attending today's short tutorial on using RISE 360 to create an engaging learning experience. See you next time!